Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how you can uh, create native message boxes uh, in your Neutrino.js applications. So uh, to demonstrate that I already created a small application using new CLI. As you can see we have several fields uh, here. Uh, we have type, title and content and also finally we have a button called show. So if we click on this show button. Uh, we can see a message box according to the uh, properties we selected earlier. For an example, if we uh, select uh, warning message type, then we will get a warning message type here. Then according to the other types as well, we will get messages, error message, and also question finally. So as you can see uh, in the bottom of the application, uh, we will get the re result as well, the result of the uh, the particular uh, message box function. For an example, if we selected uh, this uh, question uh, type, uh, if we are going to show this message. Now, if I click this the yes button, then you can see the yes button click property is set to true because I clicked the yes button. So this is kind of way to detect uh, the user action. Uh, for this question type message also if I click uh, no then this should be a false right now we can see the source code of this application and we can see how this application is implemented as I mentioned I uh, created this application using new CLI and I did the several adjustments to this configuration file neutral you know, uh, config.json file first i uh, change the window size uh, i change the width and height uh, to make this window uh, smaller and also i uh, added this resizable as uh, false because i don't want to resize this application uh, so i disabled uh, the resizing and also we cannot uh, maximize this window as well so this is a kind of uh, fixed uh, window application I implemented all the application view related things inside this index.html file. As you can see, I added all the fields here. We have type, uh, title and content fields. Then we have this button, uh, this show button. In the show button, I triggered uh, this window.show message box method uh, using this on click event. After that, we have an area to uh, get the output of uh, neutral node.js message box API. I used uh, this span uh, element to get uh, show the output uh, for an example if I click uh, show and if I do some action here if I click on ok maybe then I will get this output right so that's why I used uh, an area to uh, show the output uh, so this will basically show the output uh, from the neutral node.js API we can uh, look into the main JS file as well this is where I implemented all the application logic we have this uh, show message box uh, function implemented here after that i attach it to window because i used uh, this particular method uh, in index.html file if we check the implementation of show message box function we can see the first lines in the first lines uh, i am getting the values of each field for an example i got the value of type uh, field like this and i assigned into this constant Later, I called neutralino.os show message box function uh, using those uh, type, uh, title, and content values. After that, I captured the output of this uh, particular API method using await uh, keyword. Then we have the output of uh, the return value of uh, this particular method inside this uh, result constant as a JSON object. Uh, and I converted this uh, result object into a string because I needed to display it uh, in my application as a string. So I converted it like this and I assigned to this uh, uh, elements uh, text. Earlier I showed message boxes example on Ubuntu. If you include this message box API related things inside your applications, uh, so those uh, things will work fine on other platforms as well. For an example, I am currently on uh, macOS uh, platform. I am using the same application uh, which I showed uh, you earlier. So if I click on this uh, show button, I am getting uh, those messages, uh, the native messages as usual. If I change the message uh, type, 
those things will work fine as well if I use this question type it will work uh, fine as well if I click on this uh, yes I will get this yes button clicked this is how you can uh, create message boxes uh, the native message boxes inside uh, your neutral application uh, see you in next video